Today is the day! It's official! There is no better day than today! And I feel it within the walls of the mansion! I've been preparing for this moment! All those motivational talks I've received from Mario will finally pay off! I'm finally going to take the next step to declare my love to Daisy. I don't have to keep hiding it anymore. Well, I mustn't keep a Daisy waiting. By now she should be in Golden Plains doing her training. <sighs> okay, here I come. this this is for you no it's very direct how about something like uh, hello this a beautiful day don't you think no I'm still not convinced come on Luigi you can do it it's not that hard to talk to a girl It's a matter of relaxing and letting everything flow as... Wait, is, is that the daisy? Yeah. What is she doing with Captain the Falcon? What's -a going on? You know, I don't want to be a delicate flower like Peach. I don't like to be much tougher than before. Who knows, maybe I can make my arms bigger and tear up the castle. Your training interests me a lot. Really? Wow, you are the first girl I know that wants such a massive workout. Well, I guess I can help you with that. Show but don't blame me if you end up getting so big you can't fit into those little go-karts you guys use, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Captain, you are very funny. In addition to having a huge pair of pecs, you have a strong sense of humor. You're magnificent. Well, you're not bad either. You're an expert in all kinds of sports. You are a risky girl. You are pure adrenaline! You flatter me, Falcon. How about we train together one day? You know, I want to have giant biceps to make the Falcon punch. Or just maybe go for a ride in your blue Falcon? Are you kidding? Whenever you like, you can mount it. You'll see that the carts you use are not half as fast as my powerful ship! What? So it's a date? Of course, big boy, it's a date. So, will you pick me up tomorrow night? You can bet on it! But first of all, I'm going to need to give it some maintenance to make it fit for you. I'll let you drive it for a while and see how you handle something different. <laughs> You'll see why I'm the best go-kart racer of all the Mushroom Kingdom. W wow, that sounds pretty funny. Lu luigi What are you doing here? Nothing. I was just a passing by planning something special. But apparently, I think I came at a bad time. Uh, I'm sorry, Weege, but Daisy and I are now, uh... <sighs> I'm sorry you found out this way, Luigi, but the captain has been really cool to me. 
Not only does he have huge biceps, but he also knows how to entertain a girl. He is simply the man of my dreams, and I can't think of anyone more amazing than him. I... I just hope that you understand. So... No hard feelings? Yes, I, I understand. And, well, congratulations! I hope that... that you have a lot of fun. <sighs> oh, Luigi. But... well... I think I'd better go. I don't want to get in the way. Uh, Daisy, will he be okay? I hope so, Falcon. Luigi is usually very sensitive sometimes. I just hope he doesn't hate me for this. Well, I guess that's all. That's how my wonderful day ends. I think... I think I'd better go home and cry for a few hours, watching sad movies and eating some ice cream. Hello? 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 What's wrong with Luigi? Where is he? Today was supposed to be our training. What's the matter? Ah! Don't give me those scares, you freak girl! Um, you could've scared me I... to death! Ugh, well, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just that I saw that you entered the Coliseum alone and I wanted to make sure that everything was in order. Well, you see, nothing is in order. Luigi is late for training. He never arrives late for a meeting with me. Do you think that something happened to him? It would be better to pay him a visit to his mansion. Whatever. Just... Leave me alone, you weirdo. that Luigi lives so far away from everyone. <sighs> well, here I am. I'm ready. ready Luigi? Are you there? Luigi! Luigi, it's me, Corin. Luigi! I want to talk to you. But where did that plumber go? Aha! Going up the stairs. Luigi, answer, please. Your fate is it took me a lot to get to your house. Corin, what are you doing here? What am I doing? Worrying about a friend? That's what I'm doing. Luigi, you've been absent for five days, and I don't know why. It's not healthy to spend five days exiled in your own house. This place is filled with the smell of ice cream. Are you really okay? <sighs> it's nothing. It's just that I haven't been feeling well and I wanted to be alone, that's all. Huh? Luigi, you and I know that something is happening to you. And you don't want to tell me. Yes, yes, I'm a fine. J just leave me alone. It's okay, Luigi. I'll leave you alone. 
But if we're really friends, you should be able to tell me what's bothering you so I can help you. Anyway, see you, Ouija. <sighs> I appreciate you being able to come. As you know, Luigi has been away for five and a half days, and it really worries me. I went to visit him to try to talk to him, but he won't say a word. I know Luigi. He's not usually so hermit and lonely. If something happened to him, it must have been something terrible. I'm not very close to him. I have hardly had the opportunity to start conversations with him. I doubt he listens to me too. This is terrible! What could have happened to him for him to go into exile like that? He is one of my closest allies, and out of nowhere he became so cold towards me. Hmm... Could be symptoms of depression. I have heard Mario said that Luigi had severe bouts of depression a while back. Getting to dangerous stages. <gasps> you won't tell me that Luigi would be able to- Indeed. Luigi will be able to end his own life to get rid of that feeling. That is certainly something terrifying. We must intervene as soon as possible. Then I'll go with him. After all, he is my best friend. I'm sure she'll tell me just by asking. Luigi and I usually train outside Reknug and Forat's Coliseum. I think I could take advantage of our train to ask you to tell me what's wrong. Anyway, I usually tell him about the days when I feel down and I need someone to listen to me. Excellent! When you see him, tell him I need to talk to him. I better look up information about what happened too in the meantime. Corin, help me with what you may have recently heard about this. Sure! Well, here I go. Is he? I hope he hasn't chickened out and cancelled our training at the last minute. Um, where is he? If you do, I'll fold the fortune in half. Well, Lucy, here I am. Oh, hello, Green Thunder. Ready for a practice duel? The truth is that, no. I only came because you had asked me to. I was going to stay home today. How long are you going to stay locked up in the mansion? Come at me. Luigi, you haven't been out for six days. Don't you think we couldn't figure it out? You are the one of the first we can notice when they are absent. We care a lot about you, Luigi. I don't think yeah. it's important enough for everyone to drop their business and worry about me. I'm not that special. How are you not special? Of course you are, Luigi. You are my best friend in the whole world. Why do you think those things? I can feel it in you. There is something afflicting your soul. But I won't force you to tell me the whole problem if you're not ready. I only ask that you allow me to fulfill my mission as a best friend and be able to help you. I knew you would say that, Lucina. You have always been there for me when I am sad. So I think I could tell you what happened. It all happened six days ago. It was a perfect day. I left the mansion to see Daisy and take the next step, declaring my love for her. Apparently, I was late. Captain Falcon seemed to have already stolen second base. I see. 
So this whole thing is centered around a broken heart. Luigi, you must understand that Daisy is not the only fish in the water. Someday, you will meet that girl who fills your heart with vigor. Uh, are you serious? Of course. And until that day comes, I will stay with my best friend. Come at me. Fighting side by side with you. The Vulture will be there when you need it, my friend. I swear to you. Oh, thanks, Lucy. I really appreciate it. I feel a little better, actually. <laughs> Glad to help, mate. Oh, that reminds me. Corin wants to see you at her tower tomorrow afternoon. Uh, apparently she wanted to talk to you about something important. Oh, Corin! Right, I should go apologize! And thank you very much, Lucin. I appreciate it. Good luck, Green Thunder!